Hi, welcome back to Messy Tea with Tay. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell for more content. Today, I'm going to be giving my opinion on who was the best and worst dress over the pre grammys weekend festivities. Beyonce was spotted out at her husband's Rock Nation brunch sporting a white and silver ensemble. The ensemble kind of was lackluster for my taste it felt like it was very reminiscent of the costumes that she typically wears on stage you know how she usually wear the bodysuit loyal torch the dress was made very reminiscent of that on the top and kind of like an alien style dress and uh they added on a bottom skirt to the bottom of it to make it look as if it was a dress and the dress, when you seen her moving in it, it didn't look very functional. Didn't look like she would be able to turn her head without getting makeup on the white uh, dress. It looked like it could be very uncomfortable for a brunch and you're moving around and communicating with the people. Overall, the dress was just a little lackluster for me. But, you know, the, it's Beyonce. I know she wore something that she felt like she would stand out in from amongst the crowd. Overall, I'll give the dress a 7 out of 10. The look was pretty good. Beyonce was also spotted out over the pre-Grammy weekend rocking a metallic silver entire outfit. The outfit was simply, it was really cute. From the silver accessories that she wore with it all the way down to the handbag she chose. I think overall, I give that look a 9 out of 10. Everything matched. Everything went seamlessly. It was nothing uh, to really complain about. It looked like something you will see Beyonce in. Up next, we have Holly sporting a mini dress. Going to the Rock Nation's brunch. I think Holly looked at really cute in that look. Especially when you seen her moving and walking around in that mini dress. Holly was really serving. I like the simplicity of the hair she wore with the outfit. And also the mini dress accentuated her legs. Overall, it was a really look, cute look for Holly. But the next look that Holly was spotted out over the pre Grammys weekend sporting was my absolute favorite outfit from Holly. This dress, I mean, was beautiful and it really accentuated all of Holly's curves. Every time she wear a long floor length dress, Holly rocks it. I mean, her petite figure just really comes to light in those dresses. And she looked absolutely beautiful from the hair to the multicolored dress. Everything just really stood out about that look to me. Chloe Bailey was also spotted out over the pre Grammys weekend, spotting some really cute dresses. I love this gold dress that Chloe was spotted out in with the one arm shoulder and the uh, floor length with the super high split. I think that dress looked really great on Chloe. It was really cute, but that wasn't my favorite dress that she wore over the weekend. But I really would give Chloe at least an 8 out of 10 on that outfit. But the dress that Chloe wore over the weekend that I absolutely fell in love with was this uh, purple lavender-like type dress. It really showed off Chloe's body and her frame and the cutouts were in all of the right places to really accentuate her waistline and I liked how they pulled her hair back and made the dress the vocal the focal point and also how when they accessorized the outfit with the shades on it was really really cute and I thought it kept her right on trend and age appropriate now we'll go ahead and jump into Kelly Rowland look. I mean, hands down, Kelly Rowland probably had the favorite outfit of the weekend for me because Kelly Rowland got this look completely right all the way from the hair all the way down to the shoes. I love the sleek bob that Kelly wore with this outfit, the white one shoulder mini dress. It was just fabulous, and I mean, it fitted Kelly's body like a glove. Kelly could absolutely do no wrong in that white dress. 
Next, we're going to go ahead and jump into the looks that our girl Ray Janae been slaying all weekend. It was really cute. We're going to start off by talking about her hair. Ray Janae hair was a center part, long length hair with highlights in it. I really liked her hairstyle that she chose for the weekend. Ray Janae wore a long little black dress to her father's tribute with diamond studs on it. I like the dress a, a whole lot. I like the way she accessorized the dress and the heels that she chose to wear with the dress. The overall look was really cute. I'll give Ray Janae a 9.5 for that look. The next look that Ray Janae was spotted out in is this black leather dress that had bows all over it. I'm going to be honest. This wasn't my favorite look from Ray Janae. It reminded me of the purple satin skirt look that she wore to the Soul Train Awards but that one was really fun and cute. I don't know if it was the purple color that made that one just do it for me but that black leather one with all of the bows it made me seem like it was just too many bows on the outfit. It just didn't do anything for me but overall looks like Ray Janae really enjoyed the look and had a good time in it so I'll give our girl a 7.5 for that one. This next look from Ray Janae, I really enjoyed. It was super cute. It reminded me of like a camouflage type look. I enjoyed the fact that she rocked boots with this. It really made this look look urban chic. And it looked glamorous all at the same time. I really thought Ray Janae did her thing with this. And you could absolutely tell she was completely feeling herself. And I can see exactly why. I give that look a 10. Our girl Money Long is up next. I'm going to say this. With this look, our girl Money Long, she definitely did not come to play. I absolutely love this look from Money Long. Hands down. All the way from the bob, all the way to her black leather boots. I mean, this look was so rocker chic. And it was something unexpected for you to wear like an evening gown with the black leather boots with like the rhymes the studs on it this look was absolutely amazing for money long she put everything together so well all the way from the short neck length bob to the makeup to everything everything was just perfect with this look for me i really think she did the big one too and i would also give money long a 10 for that look guys go ahead and drop a comment down below let me know out of the people that i talked about in this video who did you think was the best dress and who did you think deserved a 10 and who did you think i should have critiqued different let me know down below in the comments thanks for tuning in to messy tea with tay make sure you like share and subscribe and hit that notification bell for more content thanks